So we're just in the process of getting camp sorted and then pretty much as soon as we landed on this little beach here putting our tents up, uh, the midges came out in force so it's literally a case of get the tent up as quick as possible chuck all my gear in there and get it zipped up and uh, yeah, get this bug shirt on as quick as I could and I put a bit of uh, DEET on as well with some bug spray Thankfully where this, uh, at the water's edge here on the lock there's a bit of a breeze and it's keeping most of them away um, still a few of them around actually but not as bad as it is towards the, the forest there uh, and where we've all set up our tents um, but yeah, hopefully uh, with the bug nets on we can get a nice campfire going and keep that nice and smoky and that'll drive most of the way hopefully But yeah, my tent's all set up um, Got my canoe barrel next to me there with all my cooking gear in Looking forward to getting some tea cooked later on and uh, drying some of the clothes out and getting changed into a, a nice dry pair of clothes as well So today as we were doing this last hour or so paddling the weather really changed and picked up and the wind gusts uh, thankfully though behind us and we've got some really big waves coming from that direction and um, they were pushing us along but we just kept tight to the shoreline here and we all made it into camp in one piece and uh, yeah made for some uh, enjoyable paddling and uh, pretty kept things nice and interesting as we were out there um, coming into camp but yeah, overall today's progress really happy with it and uh, I will get the maps out later on and show you exactly where we started this morning in Fort William and the route we took today and where we've ended up tonight before we uh, set off again tomorrow and continue on with, uh, with the rest of the journey So on this trip I'm using my Tranjay cook set for all my uh, cooking needs apart from when we have an open fire I might use that and I've also got a twig stove with me as well so depending on what the situation is like when we get in the camp I might use uh, either of those cooking in uh, the next couple of days but mainly I'm using this Tranjay cooking system rigged up to my gas bottle and yeah I really like using it, very compact system it's got a couple of bowls in there, the lid obviously turns into a frying pan and uh, yeah it's got the kettle and nest in it as well but yeah I've just got it rigged up to my gas bottle, got the windshield on there which is handy for windy conditions and you don't burn through too much gas but yeah tonight I've just cooked up some chilli con carne with a bit of rice, pretty nice meal I'm going to sit now and enjoy this with the guys and uh, yeah hopefully give me plenty of energy for the paddling tomorrow So we've just been checking over the maps and looking at the potential distance we think we can cover tomorrow based on today's paddling time and also the wind direction thankfully is still going in the way that we're travelling and uh, tomorrow so yeah hopefully it stays that way and we will recheck it in the morning and we'll probably have a group discussion again around breakfast and uh, make a plan going going forward then but yeah we just noticed some bad weather rolling in looks like maybe some some more rain coming our way so we're going to put some gear away that's outside the tent get all packed away properly get all the canoes dragged up on the beach a bit more get them all upturned and uh, yeah then we we'll go and sit around the campfire for the rest of the evening So this is the route that we're taking over this five day trip um, we started here this morning in Fort William and we're paddling roughly 62 miles all the way across Scotland 
to Inverness. So we started at the west coast, and we're going to finish on the east coast of uh, Scotland. But yeah, this morning, so we set off from Fort William, followed the Caledonian Canal, up through um, the canal, through, through the first lock where we did that portage, dropped back down into the canal, and entered into Loch Lochy, which is this body of water here. Paddled roughly three quarters of the way down here, where we're camping tonight. And then tomorrow we're going to continue down to the next set of locks, get the next canal section, through into another lock, then to more canal section, we're hopefully we might make it into, into uh, Loch Ness, which is the biggest uh, body of water on this trip, roughly 22 miles long. But yeah, it should take us a few few days to get down here. Then once we finish that, we'll back in the canal system and finish in Inverness. So yeah, overall, it should be a good trip. So it's uh, anything being like today, paddling wise, we're making good time and hopefully that'll continue for the rest of the trip. So it's morning of day two out here. We woke up to some pretty nice weather today, nice and mild already. And there's a nice breeze coming down the lock, which is keeping all the midges at bay. Um, but yeah, last night we had a really good night, just sat by the campfire, catching up, having a good laugh. And we called it night around about half 10, 11 o'clock. We we're all pretty tired from paddling all day. And thankfully I managed to get a good night's sleep last night. So yeah, feeling pretty fresh this morning. Just got up, uh, cooked up some breakfast, just some spam and eggs today. And then yeah, made a cup of tea. And I've just made another cup of coffee here while I'm uh, in the middle of packing gear down and just took my tent down. I've just got a few bits left to put my canoe barrel before we start loading my um, canoe back up. But yeah, the guys are all doing the same thing, just finishing breakfast off, having a nice uh, slow morning here, getting things packed away tidy uh, before we start loading the canoes and uh, so get back on the lock.
So we're just in the process of setting up camp for night two. I've uh, just got a tent set up behind me here. Managed to find a little grassy spot, quite flat, in amongst these trees on the shoreline of Loch Oik. We're about three quarters of the way down, so made uh, good progress again. And uh, yeah, guys are just setting the tents up, um, and there's a few guys going into the forest to do some hammock camping. But yeah, the weather's pretty nice at the minute, the sun keeps coming out, so I've just hung up some clothes to dry. Uh, hopefully get them nice and dry for tomorrow and uh, yeah keep my keep my all my gear nice and dry the best I can while I'm out here. I've got plenty of spare clothes but it's just good to, just to keep on top of things. But yeah tents all set up behind me you've got a few bits extra to put in the porch where um, but yeah mainly done and I'm back in the, the tent tonight because I've brought the tent and a hammock on this trip um, but I'm going to try and stay in the tent um, the best I can uh, throughout the trip just because I've got loads of space in there to move around and organise gear and also if the midges are bad, which they were last night, I can just get in the tent, sit myself in, I've still got plenty of space in there to work, um, get gear sorted and that sort of thing. But yeah, so everyone else is getting set up now. And then there's a fire pit here already, so that's pretty good for us because we're going to use that tonight. Have a nice communal fire so we can cook on and sit by. I think a few of us are going to go out and do a bit more fishing later on as well. There's an island not too far away. And yeah, there's a little river that comes into the lock here as well, so a couple of good potential uh, fishing spots. A few of us have hooked into some pike today myself included I just got into a small little jack pike um, actually it wasn't too far away from camp so hopefully it's a good sign there's some nice fish around here where we're camping but I think for now just going to go back into camp get a few things sorted probably get my gas stove out make a little cup of, uh, quick cup of coffee and then we'll think about getting some firewood collected for the for the communal fire later on So to cook tea tonight, I think we're just going to use the fire and I'm going to cook up some chicken tikka curry I've got some onion bhaji rice to go with that and I'm also going to toast a few of those garlic membranes as well So that's it for day two. So we've just been sat around the campfire tonight, just having a good laugh and yeah, talking about today's paddling. Earlier on I went out in the canoe, did a bit of fishing as well, um, but yeah, no joy unfortunately. I actually made it a bit further down the lock and then the winds picked up and I had a headwind to battle to get back to camp. Um, so yeah, it was a bit of a strenuous paddle lap to get back up here and uh, yeah, got into camp and uh, say so we just sat by the fire, keeping warm by that because the temperature has dropped a little bit. And now it's about 10 o'clock, so we've decided to call it a night. I've just come to the tent here, going to get changed, to get the sleeping bag, and hopefully get a good night's sleep.